in this video i'm gonna create our first category table and we are also modify our category class that we created in our previous videos that how to make that class as an entity class so that we can transfer the category object directly to the database table so let us start first by creating our database query for create category and store it in an sql file and keep it in your backend project so that you don't have to write the same query again and again even if your database gets deleted for some reason you can execute those query and you can have your tables created for you so i'm gonna go to our shopping backend project right click new file and i'm going to say this is my database queries dot sql okay so database queries is there now i'm going to write our create table query create table category i'm going to first keep the field as id and id is our entity field so that entity is the auto increment field that we have to uniquely identify a record so after adding id entity i'm going to use name where care 50 description so keep smaller description i'm going to give where care as 255 then i'm going to have also image url where care 50 and is underscore active that will be boolean and also i'm going to write a constraint of our primary key so the constraint would be pk pk stands for primary key underscore your category table underscore the field so this is the constraint name that i'm providing using the convention and then i'm going to say this constraint is for primary key which is nothing but our id so this database query will always be there inside your database queries dot sql so you can run this query any point of time so i've used this field name based on our class that we created so i'm going to quickly show you that class also but first let us execute this query so i'm going to copy this query i've already opened our h2 database that we have worked so here i'm going to just paste that query and i'm going to simply say run this query so you can see at the first go our query has been executed successfully and the category table has been created here okay so now let us move to the next step that is to annotate the class with the at the rate entity annotation because i've already covered our first and the second step now i need to add that at the rate entity annotation to make hibernate aware okay this is the class that will be used as our entity to transfer the object to the relational database table so we have to add this entity annotation so here i'm going to open our category class and on top i'm going to add at the rate entity okay it will give me an error for the import so i'm going to do control shift o so i'm going to use the java x persistence entity because your hybrid uses persistence api layer so i'm going to use at the rate entity now every entity must have an id so we need to add that at the rate id annotation on the, your field that will be the primary key in the database table so we have already used id so i'm going to go here and i'm going to say this is my id field at the rate id Control shift o and you can see at the rate id annotation has been imported here next step says okay we need to use the auto generation strategy of identity because in my database query if you see i've kept it as an identity field i want this field to be automatically incremented so for that i'm going to use at the rate generated value annotation i'm going to do an import so that error gets all so you can see generated value from persistence and here i'm going to say strategy is equal to auto, uh, 
instead of auto it would be identity so this will make sure this is an auto generated field and the number would get incremented okay now in my next step change the column name as per the fields in the table if you see here the different field that I've kept is ID name description image URL and active so ID name is matching with our column name that we have in category but this name is also matching with our this name uh, same with description here yeah. but what about this string image URL this string image URL is different than this image URL so we need to make sure and tell which field this particular field in our class reflect so for that I'm going to use at the rate column annotation and provide it name equal to image underscore URL control shift O again to have that column imported you can see the column has been imported and here here the image URL the image underscore URL is the SQL field name the database table field name here we have and this image URL is the class field name that we have so that's how you can link both the fields that is the table field along with your class field and similarly I'm going to do it for image URL here for active so active if you see here it is is active I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna change it here now in my seventh time I'm going to add a two string method because it's always a good idea to have your two string method so we can directly write category in our system dot outer print and we can see what is the value for the different field we have in our category so create this two string method here itself I'm going to say con or you can add to source here there is an option generate two string method for which field you want to generate two string methods so I want to generate two string methods for all the fields I'm gonna say okay so our two string method has been added here now I'm going to modify the DO implemented class to add a new category to the database table using Hibernate so let us quickly add that in our DAO So I'm going to say okay I want to add a new category so for adding a new category I'm going to use boolean as the return type so if it is true it means the category added successfully if it is false it means the category was not able to store inside your database table so add I'm going to pass the category for adding a new category okay so this is a change I did in our category DO so similarly I'll get an error for your category DO IMPL because this method has to be implemented in our category DO IMPL so here control 1 add unimplemented methods here we have our add method I'm going to use a try catch And I'm going to do ex dot print stack trace. And I'm going to say return false. Here I'm going to add the category to the database table. So here the code will come for adding the category to the database table. Now I don't require this false because I'm going to return true here. If there was no exception in my code and I was I was able to successfully store the category. So this return false is not required. Okay, so here the code will come. But how can we add that category to our database table? So for that I'm going to use our session factory bean that we created in the part 4 of this particular series. So here I'm going to say at the rate auto wire. So auto wire it private session 
Fashion Factory. Control Shift O. Save. So we have our Session Factory been available, and using this Session Factory, I'm going to write that code here. So Session Factory dot get current session dot there is a method called as persist so I'm going to persist that category inside the database now this particular method should run within a transactional context so I'm going to add that annotation also here because we have already enabled transaction management so I'm going to add at the rate transactional annotation shift O now you need to make sure which transactional annotation has been imported because this is another mistake that majority of people do so if you if you see here or spring framework transaction annotation transactional it means you are telling spring framework to manage that transactional so it is proper if you are adding some java x or transaction or transactional that it won't work that's why you need to ensure that the transactional annotation is from your spring framework so I have auto add this session factory and I am using it here to add that category now in my next video I'm gonna show you how to write the J unit test case so that we can test the method that we are writing for category thanks for watching